remember that It's the number one spot Remember that It's the number one spot Remember that If you at the number two Nobody remember you It's the number one spot That's, that's, that's pretty interesting Um, Let me see I saw somewhere you said uh, your personal mission is to reshape the way people perceive the connection between art and music. What, what did you mean oh. by that exactly? Um, like, I feel like it just goes hand in hand. So creating more experiences with visual art and music. Mm. Um, yeah, that's pretty, really what it was. Pr- yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I got you. I probably, I be, I be like. Yeah. I'll I be fancy with the words. No, no, no. That was pretty artistic, <laughs> though. I mean, I mean, that was pretty correct. Because I'm, I'm thinking, like, maybe, you know, you can grab people in certain ways by the way that you convey the music. It, it may is. not necessarily be the lyrics, per se, or the beats. or It may be just the visual of, you know what I mean? But it's like, like people can gravitate like how towards your... look at it, like, with music now, <clears throat> you know, music... Music can be fine art, mm-hmm. you know, um, but it also can be trash. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but in general, like, music can be fine art and it can be a fine art experience. That's really how I also see it. Like, it can be all put together. Yeah. So, hmm. and I'm seeing more of that, and that's what I, I like to convey with my art, but I'm also seeing more experiences like that. In yeah. Place, so, yeah. I got you, I got you. Hey, if y'all just not tuning in, man, we are in the building, man, with the very talented Mecca M3Zs right now. I got to say that one. But uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, let me see. I'm just curious to know. Okay, I got a, I got a, uh, another. Uh, so it says, it says, you use the stage as your healing and spiritual outlet. So is it, is it like, like it's tranquil, tranquil for you. Like is it a, uh, you know what I mean? Like as far as tranquility, where you can release or escape. Yeah. I guess in a sense. Yeah. I would say that, and it's it's when I say spiritual, it's just it's a release, you know. Yeah. Being on the stage, you can just what you're dealing with, you can work through it through the music, through mm. the act of the art. You mm. can work through it, whether it just. Whether it be through singing, whether it be through painting, you're working through it. It's like a, I feel like it's a physical release. Hmm. You know? Do you feel like you, you uh, like turn crying. into a different person when you get on stage? Like, uh, you know, like, I guess the, the Beyonce, Sasha Fish <laughs> type I, of deal. I mean, like, in a way, it's like more of an elevation of just, you know, yourself. Hmm. Um, not even just like being a different person. Just showing, you know, that different side of you, hmm. um, that expressive side of yourself. Yeah. You know. I got you. Making it an art, a yeah. performance. Right, right, right. I got you. Well, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, though. That makes mm-hmm. a lot of sense. Um, so how would you, um, I guess, um, not really categorize, but how would you um, describe your music? Um, I would say experimental is the basis. Well, this is how I really say it. It's the soul is the base. You know Mm. what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like in general, black music is soul. Mm -hmm. It's it's blues. Yeah. Um, So the soul is is the base of it for me. Um, Then you know, it's experimental, it's hip hop, hmm. it's hmm. it's R and B and shoot, one day it might be jazz. Yeah. Some days it is jazz. <laughs> you know, um, right it's, up, it's right all up. of that. But the basis of it is soul, um, and experimental. Yeah. Cause I wanna I don't wanna just put myself in a box hmm. as an Absolutely. artist. Absolutely. Because I really just love music, so I wanna be able to express myself as an artist in all forms. You might get a song and you might get a little bit of everything. Yeah. So I don't want to always put it in a box, but you know, we live in a world where if you're a black artist, there you can only do 
pretty much a few things. Either right, you're doing right. R&B, they label you as R&B. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, like you said, they put you in the box, yeah. Rap, hip hop, and you know, that's yeah. it. Yeah, so, <laughs> What else you got? Yeah. You know, and if it's you like dad, sometimes they, you almost got to create your own your own genre. Yeah. Like with a hybrid of different things, you know what I'm but saying? But even when you do, they still pigeonhole you into something. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm that saying? is true. Because certain artists like, you know, SZA, like, I don't necessarily completely see SZA as an R&B artist. I feel like she's an alternative, mm. maybe R&B, but really mm. SZA is like, if SZA was a white girl, they would not be calling her music really mm. R&B. Let's mm. really be real, right? Mm. They wouldn't mm. be calling it R&B if she was a white yeah. woman. Yeah, It would probably be, you know, indie. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty interesting. You know, well, you, you, you know, that's how it yeah. always is, though. They try to, like or you say. Or it might be pop. Yeah. If, if she was a white woman, so, yeah. like, but because she's a black woman, it's, it's R&B. Yeah. So with you, um, just speaking along them lines, uh, do you, is is SZA like one of your inspirations, or do you what? what uh, who inspires you? Like, who um, did you come up on early on? It was like, you know. I think SZA is dope. I would say though, my personal inspirations are a lot of older artists. Okay. Um, okay. I really listen to a lot of older stuff more mm -hmm. than anything. I don't. I mean, I listen to new stuff, but not as much as the old music. Right, I for sure. To. That's what I music really, was music yeah. back then. I yeah. really love like jazz. I love, you know, funk music from the seventies. Um, I love like you know R and B in general. Yeah. I like bossa nova music. Mm. Like my best friend put me on a bossa, bossa nova. Bossa nova is bossa nova. It's the Brazilian mm, music and mm, it's a Brazilian mm, style mm. music and it's beautiful. My best friend, she put me on that years ago and it's just I fell in love with. It. I was like, oh, I see why you love this stuff. I see mm. why you wake up to bossa it. Bossa nova. Mm. This 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 hit. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, I like um, like. South African music. Mm, um, mm. I love a my piano, but I'm saying like old school a South. Piano, it's a like the piano. the dance music. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Um, it's probably been around for a while, but yeah. I don't want to say have now. But um, I like like their old school, like the old school South African music. I listen to a lot of that. I don't know. Mm. I just really got into that. Um, there's some other like um like African music I listen to, like this artist from Mali. Uh, Salif Kiara, I think it's the way you mm, say his name. Mm. His music is beautiful. Um, I like listening to music from like different cultures or like older music. Um, mm. And like, yeah, like I listen to a lot of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm. I listen to a lot of, you know, Prince. Let me see. It's so many <laughs> artists. Like, I listen to a lot of John Coltrane. Yeah. Like, Thelonious Mog, like, mm. I listen to, like, just a lot of different genres of music and a lot of different, you know. Where do you feel that artists. comes from? Just being well rounded to listen to um, all that? Like, because, you know, like, how it is, I get when nowadays, you know, a lot of youngsters, they just listen to one, yeah. you know, type of music, or it's just rap or just this, but for you to be open minded to listen to all those different types of. Uh, what do you, what do I you, think what? when I was young, like already, like the type of music my parents listened to, like I grew up on like, you know, hip hop, R and B, old school, you know, R and B, old school funk, and a little bit of jazz. My grandparents loved the blues, so I think it's just kind of like the type of music I grew up listening to and the type of like hip hop my parents played. So my parents would play a lot of most Def. Okay, of, okay, gotcha, We gotcha. listened to a lot of like Black conscious. Star, a lot of yeah. Talib Kweli. Right on. You know, your common. Yeah, You know, a lot of conscious, like conscious yeah, type artists. Dead yeah, Dead Prez, yeah. like. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 so like, yeah. come on, man. I grew up on that type of stuff, like yeah, Bahamadia. Dead Prez cold too. So like my yeah. parents are already playing like, you know, Certain type of music that I still listen to. Bucking the system. Bucking the system. Yeah, that was really Hell a no, we won't go. No, <laughs> For real. For real. It was like a lot of, you know, 
know, my parents, I love far, the far side because my mom played a lot of far side. Oh, okay, like, yeah, yeah, I, I love them, a yeah. Lot of, and it's funny, like, I grew up on a lot of Dilla and didn't even really know it. Mm. Like, I, you know, because I'm an artist, I have a lot of musician friends, mm-hmm. just kind of like in the sector of music that I create, you know, I'm around a lot of musicians, so mm-hmm. they put me, sorry, they put me onto a lot of different type of music. Like, listen, that's why I love having musician friends, because they, they're going to learn you something. Yeah, already. You know, already. So I, I just love that. Yeah. I already am like a, the type of person I seek a lot of like older music and I like to just research and I love history and I like the history of music in general. So that's why I like a lot of old music. Mm-hmm. Like I was a kid, like, like in middle school being like, let me like figure out like what what was Billie Holiday making? I seen Lady Sings mm. the Blues, and mm. I'm like, let me listen to her. Mm. And that movie traumatized me as a kid. Mm. Like, mm. it low key. But I, 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 I said I wanted to go back and check that out too, cause she got a, she got some several documentaries yeah. and stuff I, I seen, so I want to check out as well. Mm-hmm. But she was she was pretty deep. Yeah, and Billie so, Holiday was pretty deep. For real, she was. So I was just trying to. I'm always trying to seek new music, but new music from back in the day mm-hmm. that no one's ever heard. Absolutely. Stuff that's just new to me. Yeah, you know? right, right. I like that type of stuff. Like, I feel like a lot of new music today, if I do listen to it, it's a lot of, um, like, kind of underground artists mm-hmm. is what I mainly listen to. That's Yeah, new. So it's I agree. Like, it's when a people lot be of like, it ain't no good rap artists. out, I be like, I know some good rap. No, I don't for know what real. Y'all about. No, for real. I know some good rap. Yeah. I know some good R and B. It might not today. be mainstream. Yeah. But it's a lot of dope artists. That's I'm what like, I that's always why y'all say need to too. Give some new stuff a yeah. chance. Yeah. Exactly. You know. That's y'all what I always give, say. But, but yeah. the underground stuff, y'all trying to look for stuff that's mainstream, you getting disappointed. Yeah, for real. Because yeah. everybody pretty much right. copying out this person and copying out this person. And, right. Yeah, so everything sounding pretty much the same. But yeah, that's what I always say. Like, people ask me in interviews, you know, who are some of your favorite artists you listening to now? And it'd be a lot of the people that I know. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Just underground artists of people that I know that's For real, that's really what it is for yeah, me. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, it's just people that I know or have encountered being in the music scene. I, mm-hmm. I'm i like, I, I know some good rap and I listen to it. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> y'all nah, keep on really. trying to listen yeah, to the Yeah, trying to go back to 97. Nah, nah, nothing against 97. Nothing nah, against 97. Nah, but it's but, like, y'all know. trying to, yeah, yeah, because, you know, they get paid to play a certain rotation right. of music. And you're going to hear the air hour on the hour. You know what I'm For talking real? about? But, uh, man, right before we get up out of here, though, I'm, I'm curious to know, uh, do you remember your first performance? Mm. Like your very, very first performance. My very first performance I guess first ever? performance, I guess since you've, you kind of, uh, so you say, uh, was it Fruit Tape? Was that your very first tape? Or you say you had projects prior to it? I had one prior to it, but it wasn't like one that I So I guess, I guess your first... Uh, hmm. on stage experience performing some of your per- my music. Yeah, yeah. Um, whoa. Let me think about that. That's I know, I'm right? Doing. That's pretty deep. I'll just sit you down memory line real quick. I'm like, hmm. Damn. I know, right? <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of performances when I really think about that, and that's a mm. blessing. To Absolutely, say, yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? For sure, I and won awards and stuff. I saw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I've that's done, super I've done a lot. Like yeah. I really have to give myself that credit. And sometimes, you know, you sit back and you don't think you've done enough. But I've really done a lot. Um, damn. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess, what I'm getting to is, hmm. um, just considering, you know, I guess learning through those performances and stuff you know what, what? To do what i can tell you I, I don't know this is not my first performance but i'll tell you this is my like first time really singing this song mm-hmm. so my first song was called photosynthesis mm. like photosynthesis i'm giving up on you mm. and so um, okay okay i sang it at this, <laughs> at this like really like hood like little club in dallas they used to what was it? It wasn't Rip the Mic. It was something. Mm-hmm. It was some competition. It might have been Rip the Mic. But it was some competition that they were having. It was like, you get $500 yeah. if you win. Mm-hmm. So I came there that night, and I was like, 
I'm about to win this five hundred dollars. And I don't know if I did that song a cappella. I don't even remember. I, I did it with my machine, but um, I ended up winning that night. Yeah, and it was serious. so funny. I was a. I wasn't. It was a, so many rappers. And everybody sounded the same, anyways. And I could have ran circles around them. Yeah, too. easy, easy. But you know, I sang, and. Niggas was hating. They was like, oh, man, she didn't. She won because she sang. Oh, she man, sang, come on, sang. man. Come I on. Was like, man, I was thinking outside the box on if y'all. If I was yeah. spitting too, nigga, yeah. I would have won because I was y'all. spitting. Yeah, what are you up. talking about, man? <laughs> it was so many dudes hating. Even It was a dude I was like dating kind of at the time. Mm -hmm. And he had competed too. And he was talking shit too. I was like, oh, that's crazy, man. But that lesson then, I was like, niggas. Be hating on bitches. Yeah. Rico Nasty was right. And I had been saying that for years. Niggas be hating on bitches. So do you I'm feel not it? no bitch though. Yeah, but I know like, what you I, I know, you know what you're saying though. I know, know what you're saying, but just no it being a I guess a male driven industry. Yeah, it's it makes sad. it kind of difficult on females when they trying to Yeah. So I guess obviously you still feel it's kinda like that in uh these days and times. It you is. feel like females have to work like extra, extra, extra hard to try I feel to... like if you want to be taken seriously, yeah. um, you have to work extra hard if you, you know, just because I feel like there's some people, and that's, I honestly, it's the industry in general. It's not really just with just women, mm. because mm. there's men that sell their ass to yeah. Yeah, in right, order right to on, get an right opportunity, crazy. you know, it, and, and it don't matter if they're selling it to a man or a woman. It's just people out here in general are selling themselves and selling mm. their bodies mm. and their attractiveness in order to get what they Trying want. To do anything. And it's and I'm not even saying that from judgment because some people feel like they have to do that. Mm. You know, so I really don't want to even sound like I'm judging, but there's some people that feel like they have to, you know, yeah. because and, and I understand where people come from. Yeah. It's, just, That's it's crazy, a very though. it's That's a very crazy. scary industry to be in because yeah. it's, you know, people think that because you're an artist automatically you're making money. Right, so right. They feel like they don't have to pay you for stuff. They feel like... Right, they right, feel, right. It's exactly. Like, Obligated. It's like, yeah. you don't understand that being an artist is very expensive. Man, like, for real. For any real. type of art, it's, a, it's the expensive. The artist pays the price <laughs> all day. Yeah. Like, it's, the artist it's, pays it's the price. It's expensive. Like, so, yeah. I think a, a lot of people, because of that hunger of wanting to make it, like, they compromise themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, but for me, personally, I feel like if anybody's trying to do anything with integrity, you're going to have to work extra, a little bit absolutely, harder. Absolutely. And I don't even want to say hard. You're just going to have to, you know. Yeah. There's just some just opportunities. Just stay focused and stick yeah, to Yeah, there's just some opportunities that you're not going to understand at the moment. Right. Why they're not for you and why you're not getting it. But then you realize afterwards, you're like, oh, yeah. Uh, I see why. I'm glad I didn't uh, uh, take that route. <laughs> right. Like uh, Cat Williams was saying. <laughs> glad that they said no. <laughs> Glad that they said no, because yeah. I realized yeah. that they probably own some. Yeah, on some other stuff. Yeah, that yeah. I, I don't even want to be associated with that. Yeah. You start to realize no, a lot real. of things, like, you'll be like, whoa. You like. know, you want to keep your integrity <laughs> in what it is you're doing. Like you say, you don't want to be, you know, sitting on the couch, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid, you know, going to, <laughs> you know what I mean? Going, I ain't going to put nobody out there, but going to these different parties and stuff like that. And That's you know what I'm talking about? Like. Oh, some crazy stuff, but um, I like asking this question. Um, I usually get some pretty interesting answers. Uh, considering everything that you've been through, uh, everything that you learn, you know, and uh, steady learning every day, veteran in the game, um, what would you tell a younger M3s? Uh, be patient. Hmm. Um, but also just create to create sometimes. Mm, mm. And you don't always have to create to present something to the world. Mm, mm. Just, just create and don't judge your process. However mm. long it takes or however mm. short it may take, mm. don't judge any part like of the that. process. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't psych yourself out because you did something good right, in 30 right. minutes, but also don't psych yourself out because it's taking right, longer. Right, right. Don't, don't you know, be too, too yeah. over the top or, or too low on yourself if things yeah. don't go right, but just keep that. But but I feel like sometimes artists, like I've dealt with imposter syndrome a lot and mm -hmm. I've had to learn like mm. there's been times where with my imposter syndrome where 
I don't even want to claim that, but where I've experienced that, where mm -hmm. it's like, you know, sometimes you might create something quickly and it might be really amazing, but you start to psych yourself out. Mm -hmm. You're like, mm, maybe I have to add more to that or do more. Oh, yeah, but right, it's like, right, no, you right, don't. But right. then also you might be judging yourself in a process that might be taking you a little bit longer. Um, and you're like, why is it taking me so long to write this song? That's why I don't mm. like when people ask me. Mm. They'd be like, how's your writing process? Like, how does it take you to write a song? And like, what do you need to do? Do you need to like incense? Do you need to do that? I'm like, I'm a writer. Yeah, so right, it's like, right, right, right. It don't matter. I can be on the toilet and I yeah. think of an idea. Exactly. I can be walking down the street. I can be in the car. It doesn't yeah. matter. So it's really not. I like agree a, with that. I need yeah. to like. Let me sit zen, down. Like, it's just, Let me, like you say, light an incense, get yeah. my coffee, and all right, now for the start right, writing. Right, right. Like, no, yeah, it's not like that. Yeah. I feel like personally, if you, most artists understand that, like, you're a vessel. Yeah. So it don't really matter. Like, right, right. Because your any, inspiration yeah. could come on the spot. You might see something. You might be somewhere exactly. and see something and be exactly. like, oh, that'll be a cold song. Exactly. Or come up with a line, a phrase, exactly. a hook, anything. Yeah. In general, it's yeah. just something that it's just coming through you. It's not yeah. like, it's not like you de you need a certain area, a certain spot, like. Yeah. Um, now I agree with that. I know? definitely agree with that because I, you know, well, I'm an artist myself. You know, I, I started out doing hip hop and stuff like that. So yeah. I shit, I'd be anywhere, like say in the shower, right. anywhere, <laughs> something. I'd be like, oh, that's a right, cold line. Right. I'd be like, I'd be saying it over and over. Man, I got to remember that. I got to remember that. Exactly. Then I, I get to my little pad and I write it down exactly. real quick because I, you know, yeah. you never know what you might. Because it, it even uh, comes up for. Not just really songs with like book ideas, you right. know, anything, concepts, anything, like any type anything. of concepts, you know. I what mean, I'm in general, we all are vessels, so I yeah. feel like it's just like ideas just come when yeah. ideas come. Like, I can't really control that. Like, you know, it's not like a, I have to sit down and create, a yeah, space right, for it to right, and get and you know prepare for it. Yeah, it, it ain't really like that, it just, it just comes to you. So, is it uh, is it like one thing? that the people may not know that you would like the world to know about Mecca? <laughs> One thing I need people to know about Mecca is Mecca is a history maker hmm. and you just don't know it yet, but you will. And you'll be like, what? She said it. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and I'm only saying it because God said it. Man, straight up. <laughs> I already <laughs> dropped the mic. Dude. <laughs> well, you got any last minute shout outs, anything before we go? It's a lot of people to name. All I the know, time. right? So Blame on my mind, not my heart. Shout out to everybody that I love. Yeah. And shout out to yourself. Already. <laughs> man, I appreciate you Thank taking you. out your time, Thank man. You Sitting down with the number one spot, man. If you ain't. At the number one spot, you're number two. And nobody remembers number two. Remember that, baby. And we out of here. Hey, I'm a yeah. life number one. Oh, my bad. Put your uh, put your oh. handles out there real quick. Your Instagrams and all that right fast. You can follow me at n3cca dot n3cca. Mm. Again, it's m3cca dot huh. m3cca. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's why you remember, remember it, though. Yeah. Nah, straight up, man. Hey, and what I said before, I, I, I'm going to say it again. If you ain't at the number one spot, you're number two. And nobody remembers number two. Remember that, baby. And we out of here. Yeah.